Hi all, welcome back to Petacube and we are looking at AZ220 Microsoft Azure IoT Developer and today we will be looking at Lab 3 we have covered Lab 1 and Lab 2 earlier so today we will be exploring in terms of uh, setting up the development environment right? so uh, we may need to install several tools and uh, I will guide you. I've already installed it, but I will guide you in the next part before we go to the tool. So, without any delay, let's start. Make sure your portal is up. Remember, the last lab we have RTA Lab 220, we have BTS, and IoT Lab in place. So, the others, you, since I've already created, it's visible to me, but you will not see it. The today's lab requires a lot of setting up. Make sure your internet is sufficient. Okay? Some of the tools that we'll be installing, if you can see on my right hand side only, uh, we need to install Azure.NET BS Python Docker, desktop, and IoT extension, Node.js. Okay, so in my case here, I've already installed it. Okay, so I cannot say some of it I installed, some of it I haven't. So in this case, uh, as we said, uh, we may need to download, we need to download uh, Azure Fail, uh, uh, what they call it? We may need to install, if, if I may, I mean, let's download the necessary tool first. So you see Azure Client CLI, uh, Azure CLI, you, you, you may need to download it. And then we do need the uh, .NET. We also need the S code, which is extensively used. And then we need Python. We need Docker. We need IoT extension. That's the uh, the extension that that's not something that we will install now but once the tool is installed then you need to get it up and running okay so those are the few tools that uh, we require to install so where are you going to get it where are you going to get it in our lab so, so detail, we just need to click. Let's click this and open it. I'll just guide you in terms of where to have it. Right. So you see here, you just choose whichever that is if you are using 64 or 32 gig. And uh, I got the right one that call. Okay, let's click the next. It is downloading. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it to download. So it's 426 map and let it download. Okay. And same goes to uh, the other areas. Let's see. So remember here, they are saying you could download net call as you see. So here, you see several. several uh, several versions and uh, don't get the wrong version make sure you install the net call 
a fine one. This is a fine one. And not this. It's a dot net call. Okay. And then we move on to finish. Oh, sorry. I will open it in a separate one. Okay. And then oh, you download that and you start installing the visual. Studio. Okay, and then similar, you need to get the visual CLI. Where is the download? Oh, yes, it is here. Okay, so download install on Windows. You can just click on that. It is Windows or Mac. You choose currently and click on it and you get the file. Okay, and then for Python, you click here and you get Python. And then you install Docker. And then install. And uh, yeah, after you have downloaded, is where you need to start the extension. So the extension is for Visual Studio Code. Okay. So if we got that. You know, under the visual code extension, let me just open let's search for the visual studio code and wait we have visual studio code opening I've already installed okay so download it download all of it and then you install so uh, why don't you click on Docker the link directly installs. So here you just you know you, you just need to follow code and you can you don't wish to choose in here. Just have to do that. And you will get the um file up. You just need to follow the note. I already have the node with me, so I'm not going to um, stick with it yet too much. Maybe I'm going to leave it to download and let's see. Because I did not install the dot net to the node, but we can do it together. Okay, primarily I have installed. I've already installed Visual Studio Code. I've already installed Visual Studio. I've already installed Docker. And the rest I haven't installed. Coming back here, that is our, this is how it will look like, I will, new file, I'll just add it new file, okay, uh, okay, and then you just have to follow through, let's go install development extension now, on the left side, all these others so when you click on the extension you can see the extensions you can just search for the extension so in this case it's Azure IoT2 I've already installed it and then C sharp Visual Studio Code I've also installed it okay then I can close this other two extensions Okay, let's find the Visual Studio. So first 
be alive. That's the name of the book. Okay. So, together with you, I'm going to install the Azure Fire. Okay, but since I haven't installed this, I haven't installed the .NET and uh, .js. I'm going to do that together. So, uh, oh, maybe. Let's see, Microsoft. I'll just put reply. You see what's happening? If you if you haven't installed the Adobe Flash new, just click new and get it installed. Just follow through the instructions. Okay, so um, that covers for okay. That covers for the uh, lab three. Another thing that you have to do in lab three is remember uh, I told you to ensure in the um, lab one. You need to make sure download the the um, you have to download the whole lab. So the link is given here. You can just click this and then which will lead you to this particular page here. Okay, and you see everything right. this you just have to go to code and you download the whole thing have it in your local system when you already have it in your local system then you will see it as as the folder I'll just show you where it is this is how you will see it oh, Okay, and uh, you will see all the files here on the left here. To do everything, make sure you get that done. And uh, uh, the latest Azure portal has already have Azure, so you do not need to install it manual. And guys, we have completed our. Lap 3. See you all in lap 4. Oh.